Hi guys, this is part 2 of simple highlight tool in DaVinci Resolve 18. In this part we will make the highlight tool reusable by turning it into a preset or a macro. In case you haven't watched part 1, make sure to click on the card above and watch part 1 of this tutorial. So let's get started. I'm in the Fusion page and we have two nodes. To create the, a macro, we need to select all the nodes that we want to export. And the order of the selection is important because if you select a node first then the properties of that node will show higher in the macro or the preset. So that's why I'm gonna select as rectangle node first then hold the control key in windows and select the other nodes go to the first node right click go to macro create macro or rename your macro i will rename it to simple highlight tool and now we need to select all of the properties which we want to export and to be visible in our preset. As you can see here, you will find listed all of the properties of one node. And since we selected the rectangle node first, we will see that first on the list. Even though this dialog window is opened, you can still move around and open the properties. So if I select here, I can see which properties I want to export. So basically we want to export the border width, the position and the length, but since we are using anim curves and animations, we will export the border width and the length from the anim curves section of this macro. Here we will select the position, the x offset, y offset, width, height and the corner radius. Now let's move in the common tab. We don't need to export anything here. Let's go to the border width anim curve. And in the border width, if I go to the modifiers, these are all of the properties we can export. We don't want to export the source because we always want to leave the duration by the by default. We also don't want to export the curve because we want to leave this as simple as possible. We want to export this graph and the in and out points. And the graph is the lookup. The in point and out points are these two properties. But we want to rename them. I will just put border width in front of them. Now I can copy these two words. And we will add them here too. And also for the scale now we will rename it to border width because we want to adjust the border width using the scale since we are using the animation and we don't want to mess up the curve. That's why we are using the scale as a border width. Select, now we hit, we check this checkbox and then rename it. So this is going to be the original border width which we will be used in our preset. Now we can move to the length anim curve. We will do the same for that. And we will select the same properties for the length anim curve. Click to expand it. Select lookup in out and the scale also. And we will rename it. We will change the minimum value to be zero because the length cannot go lower than zero. And we are done with the length anim curve. Now the last one is the S render node. And here we just make sure to check the output. Now to save it, go to file save as. Now we need to find the folder where we want to save the preset. Rename to whatever you wish and it's saved. Now we can close this window to, to test the preset. You will need to open the folder where you saved it. I saved it here. Click, hold and drag it to the Fusion page. And now this, the highlight tool is present in our Fusion page. Double click on this line to disconnect it. Take the output and connect it to the media out. And now we have our simple highlight tool with all the properties listed on the right on the inspector panel. And we have the position. To change the position, we need to change the length as well. Position defines where the start and end point of the rectangle are located. We have the X offset, which moves the rectangle up and down. The width, the height, the corner radius. And we have the curve, which we can edit it by selecting the points and change the values. And the border width is here. And the length is the last property in this macro. As you can see, we forgot to add the color. We cannot change the color to edit the tool. We can delete it here. Go to the Fusion menu, Macro Editor, File, Open, find the folder where you saved the tool. Double click to open it and now we have the list again we can rename check or uncheck any property that we want so we need to add the color select the color green blue and alpha and you can rename them if you want but i will leave it like so to save it just hit save file save close this window and now we need to reopen the preset drag it to the fusion page now you can see that we have the color available and now we can change the color too 
but I don't want the border width and the length to be located here. I want to move them up. We cannot do that from the DaVinci Resolve. We have to edit the file, the setting file from any kind of text editor. So open the folder where you save the tool. Right click, if you're in Windows 11, show more options and select edit with notepad plus plus. But you can use any editor that you have installed. You can use the, the Windows notepad as well. Now this file will open. You will have all the settings here. Control F to search for the tool. So we want to move the border width and the length up in the list. Control F, search for border width and make sure you're selecting the, the correct property. So this is the in point, the out point, the lookup or the graph. And this is the, the scale or the border width which we want to move upwards. And we select it from the input board up to the comma. Make sure to include the comma. Right click, cut, and move up in the inputs after the, make sure to paste it as the first in the list. So right click paste, make sure that the comma is there. You can add indentation. And also we need to search for the length. It doesn't matter if it says input 14 or input 8, as long as the names are unique, it will work. So now since we did the changes, go to file, save, and now the preset has been updated. Close this editor, delete this node, go to the folder where you save the tool again, drag it here. And now if we connect it, now we will see the border width and the length to show the first ones in the list of the properties. And you can change the border width and the length but the lookup will not be messed up. So this is how you create the preset. Now, to be able to install it in the DaVinci Resolve 18, we need to follow some steps. I will show you next how to do them. We can, now we need to go to the folder where we saved the, the preset. We will create a new folder here. Rename it to edit inside of it. Since I want to place this in the generator, in the FX generator of DaVinci Resolve, it's gonna be, I want it to be available to Select it from here, effects and in the generators. I will have to create a folder here, which will say generators. Now we need to go one level up. Right click and cut this setting tool. Go inside the edit folder in the generators. Right click and paste it. Since I want this to be available in a specific folder in the generators tab, I will create another folder here. You can rename it as you wish. And drag and put this setting file inside of this folder. We need to go back to the edit folder. When you see the edit folder, right click. We need to archive this folder. Add to archive. You can rename it as you want, but make sure to select zip for the archive format. Now, since we have the zip file, we need to rename it to change the extension F2 to rename the file. And instead of zip, put drfx. And now we have a DaVinci Resolve FX archive, which can be installed. You can install it by double clicking it. And now in the DaVinci Resolve, you will see an install dialog box, hit install, and the preset should be available in the effects generators. Sometimes you need to close DaVinci Resolve and reopen it, but in my case, I didn't have to do that. So now if I go in, in the tech video stack dots folder in the generators tab, I have the simple highlight tool. Now if I select and bring it here, and if I delete this one, now you can see that we have the tool and if I select it, you have all the properties that we had in the Fusion page. So we don't have to go to the Fusion page again. And now you can change here the border width, the offset, the width of the rectangle, the height, and the rectangle won't be distorted. And if you change the duration of the clip, it will still work. No issues there, but the animation will play slower. To make the animation faster when you extend the duration of the clip you need to play around with the graphs so here if you want to make it play quicker you need to decrease the first point and uh, increase the value of the second point so that it, it gets closer to the beginning or closer to the end if i want the animation to take just 0.05 percent of the duration of the clip i will just select the point is 0.05 here 
and also in the second one I want I need to go to 0 0.95 now the animation plays much quicker but we need to do the same change for the length as well now if I play it and if I go to the end the animation starts and finishes much quicker. Now here you learned how to make this preset but as a bonus if you don't want to make it if you want to take it for free you can do so if you go to my coffee page and download it I will put the link in the description I will also make it available in my patreon page the link is also in the description so hopefully you learned how to make a preset in DaVinci Resolve if you like videos like this make sure to subscribe to my channel and with you guys see you in the next tutorial thank you for watching and bye